What's up everybody? This video is just showing a upgrade of the MSI Modern 15 that I reviewed in my previous video. I'm just going to be opening this up and installing this one terabyte M.2 solid drive I just bought. So you guys can see the insides of this machine and show you guys that it is very upgradable. There's about 11 screws that you have to unscrew. And I'm going to fast forward through that part. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me unscrew the 11 screws, but I'll show you where they are. So there's one screw here, one screw here, one here, one here. Then there's a factory seal sticker that you have to puncture to get to that screw which is going to void your warranty with MSI, so be mindful of that. But you definitely have to get to that screw because if you don't, you're going to damage your machine trying to take this uh, back case off. All right, so that's another screw underneath that factory sticker, and you're going to have to puncture that sticker to get to it. And there's another screw, so there's another screw here, here, another one there, 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 and there. So it's like 11 screws. And um, make sure you have yourself a bowl or something like that. So you can put your um, screws in, inside of the bowl because if they roll off the table, I'm above a carpet and it's like looking for a needle in a haystack trying to find these screws. And also make sure the tip of your tool you're using is magnetic. That helps a lot. So anyway, I'm going to fast forward this. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. See me uh, unscrew this back and then I'll show you guys the, the uh, motherboard and where to place the second M.2 because there's already M.2 which is where my OS is installed, but there's an additional slot for secondary solid state drive. Okay. All right, so some of these screws did not want to come out. That's okay, I'm gonna be careful when I open this up. I have a pry tool, it's a little beat up. I've been using this thing left and right, but I'm gonna start with the uh, flat head um, tool that I have. And uh, if I can get this thing off, this thing is so hard to get off. Excuse me, bear with me guys. All right, got that off. So you're not really supposed to be using anything this um, this hard because you will damage your case. But hey, like I said, my pry tool is beat up. So I'm just going to use this to start to open, uh, to give me some space to get this pry tool in so I can get this, uh, this cover off. All right, so let's go. So start with the back. When you do this, start with the back of the machine and you want to get in between right about, let me see, you want to get here and here, and like I said, I'm going to just start with this, I shouldn't be using this, but I don't have a pry tool, I got to get myself a pry tool kit, there is some, I thought there were some little gaps in here where you could stick it in, but oh yeah, let me see, is that, is that one, yeah, I think this side is already kind of, yeah, this side is already open from the last time I did it. So you hear that snap, you want to be very careful to switch over to your pry tool once you hear, start hearing those crackles. And then gently go across, you hear them snaps, go across, don't don't go too deep in because you don't want to damage your motherboard. You might puncture your, your motherboard. And I didn't take these screws out, so I have to be very careful. I didn't get them all out. See, there they go. This is what I'm talking about. So be very careful when you take this thing off, which about your screw off. See, there we go. One fell to the carpet. Oh, man. See, I already messed up. I messed up on video. One fell down to the carpet. For whatever reason, my magnetic tool didn't work. So I'm going to have to spend some time. Did I find it? No, I'm going to have to spend some time looking for that one screw. But anyway, we're going to continue on. I knew that was going to happen. Because all the screws did not want to go off. So anyway, 
Here is the inside of the MSI Modern 15 machine. So as you can see, you can upgrade your, 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 your DDR4 RAM here. You got two uh, slots. And then here's the M2 that came with it. And then here is the additional space for another M.2. Right? So I got myself a terabyte crucial M.2 was on sale at Best Buy today for 91 bucks. So I said, let me go ahead and grab it while it's on sale. So I'm gonna open this up and get my razor here. Damn, I uh, dropped that screw. I, t I just told you guys that it was gonna be like a needle in the haystack looking for it. Oh man. Ah, I mean, some of the screws are still in inside the, uh, the uh, cover here, but it's all good. I will find it. Sorry if you hear noise in the background, spurs chirping, my air conditioner's on. All right, so here it is. Nice drive. Let me set this to the side. Here's the M.2. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be using anti-static bags and gloves, but hey, I'm doing it the way the majority of us do it out there. I know y'all not all using anti-static bags and gloves. I know you're not. So let me get this open. Let me not damage this. Trying to get this thing open. Bear with me, everybody. I'm sorry about this. I just wanted to show you guys and be careful opening up. All right, there we go. Bam. Got this thing open. All right, so there's already a screw in there, which is good. I was a little worried about that. I was like, man, I hope I don't have to find a screw to, to put this uh, M.2 in. But there's already a screw there. And you just need to unscrew it. And then that way, it should be good to uh, put this M.2 in place. All right. So there we go. Nice looking drive. Looks nice. Nice. Uh, I'm a fan of Crucial. See, I got Crucial uh, memory in there. And I got the Crucial drive to match. I got Kingston right here. But this is fine. As long as it works, that's all I care about. All right, so you want to be nice and gentle with it. Make sure it's in there. Yup, nice in there. And that same screw that it came with, you want to put that back if I can find it. See, I'm just not doing a good job. This is not a good video. I think that I put it in the bowl. Oh, gosh, here it is. I got it. Gosh, just not doing a good job today. But anyway, you guys get the point of this video. Let me put this screw back in place. Yep, now it wants to stick. You didn't want to stick early on the other screw, but today, well, on this one, you want to stick. All right. There we go. Nope. See this magnet? See, it worked. It didn't want to work earlier, but now it's working now. Come on. Come on. All right, there we go. Bam. That's it. That's it. That easy. So like I said, this machine's upgradable, man. I love it. I love the fact that it has two M.2 slots. And you can, you can get this RAM up to 32 gigs. Right now, I'm at 16. But yeah, that's pretty much it. No, I didn't unplug the battery and all that stuff. I, you know, I, I feel confident that I should be okay. But yeah, man, this is, this is, the, this is the hard part. It's putting this case back on and finding that screw. I'm a little upset that I told you guys that that was going to happen, and it happened right on video. But yeah, you just line this thing back up, snap, snap, snap things back in place. Yup, you hit those nice, nice snaps. That's what you want. And now I gotta find the screw. And I'm gonna fast forward th through this part as well. I know you guys don't want to see. Me put this uh, cover back on, and I know you guys don't want to see me looking for that one screw on my carpet, which is crazy, man. I mean, spending a lot of time because you know it bounces off your foot or it bounces off your your leg, and it goes somewhere totally away from where you were sitting. But I'm gonna fast forward this, and I'll be right back to show you guys that the drive is installed and how to initialize it and give it a drive letter and all that stuff. So yeah.
I found a screw. It took me about five minutes. But yeah, to save time and, oops, I'm, I'm hitting the camera by accident. Sorry about that, fellas or, and ladies. All right, let's put this screw back in. Gosh, that's what I was talking about. And it happened. All right, so I found all the screws. I don't like screws missing on my systems. I don't like screws missing on nothing. I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand that. So let me flip this over. And I'm going to turn it on. Make sure you guys can see it. Let me bring it a little closer here. Oh, uh, actually. Actually, I'm going to um, show you guys a better view. Oh, that was a task trying to find that screw, man. That's what I'm saying. Be careful. All right, so you log in here. And PayPal is hit me up. And uh, so what you want to do is go into your Windows File Explorer. You want to right click on, see it's not, it's not showing yet, it's just showing Windows C. You want to go to Manage. And I want to make sure it goes to Windows D. So and then you want to go to, I know you guys can't see this, but I'm just saying it. You want to go to disk management. And there you go. There's a new drive. So you want to initialize the new drive. It already popped up. Bam. Unallocate it. And then you want to right click on it again. New simple volumes, what you want to click. And then next, and next, and then you assign the drive letter. I want it to be D since my C drive is already C drive. I want it to be D, so it's already by default to D. Next, and this is where you can label it. So I don't know what I want to call it yet. I'm just going to call it uh, media, maybe, because that's pretty much what's going to go on to it. This media. Uh, you can all caps it. You can lowercase cap it. It doesn't matter. I mean, lowercase is a lowercase cap. You can lowercase it. Doesn't matter. So I named it Media, finished, and it's formatting, and bam, there it is. So when you go to this PC, now you have two jobs. I got my Windows on C, my Media on D. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know I was a little, I was a little sloppy with that, but the job got done. You see what you can do. And uh, anyway, that's it, man. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Later.